In this video, we are starting off the week. It's actually starting with the end of last week. And I could have included all this beginning footage in last week's vlog, but last week's vlog was already an, over an hour long. So I thought, you know what? Even though it technically is on the end of this week, I'm going to save it for next week so that uh, you can enjoy it then. And so we are actually uh, starting off, this vlog started on Friday of last week. Right now we're at a new uh, shopping center. This is called The Summit. And for those of you who used to live in Lexington, who don't anymore, who moved away, this is at the corner of Nicholasville Road and Man of War. And they have built a Whole Foods. I'm just gonna, we're gonna drive around and I'm gonna show you. They have a Starbucks, they have a Blaze Pizza. Uh, let's see, I don't know what else we're gonna be able to see. I do not even know how to pronounce that place, to be honest. This is the Whole Foods, and it looks like they have an eating area outside uh, with lots of tables over here, which is really cool. The barn. Um, yeah, this place is gonna be the barn, it says. Uh, what does it say it is? A grill? It's a bunch of different places. Atomic Ramen, Crank, Crank and, and Boom. Seafood, there could be a bunch of different places. This is, uh, this is, this is Hollywood Feed. It's a pet food store. There's Jay, Ale Jay Alexander's. That's cool. And this is Jay Alexander's restaurant. It looks nice. And then, do you want to go straight up? Straight or? To okay. Then we have, the city. we have Waxing the City. I wonder what that is. I guess that's a beauty salon. Wax place, yeah. Alumni Hall, which is going to be UK stuff. Water and Oak Outdoor. So we're just going past these places again. We turned around and this it isn't even open. That Waxing the City place isn't even open yet. So a lot of these places... Even though they had a grand opening over here. Oh, there's a Bath and Body Works down there. Who knew? Um, even though they had a grand opening for this place like a month ago, um, all the places still aren't here. There's a Grimaldi's, it looks like, a, a pizza place. There is a Bath and Body Works. Sugar Boo and Company. Never heard of that. This place looks like a barn. That's really cool looking. Gosh. Where's Lush? Oh, I'll show that in a minute. World, World of, beer. of Beer. So there's the Grimaldi's and there's World of Beer. Meg C, is anybody behind you? Yeah. Okay, Lush, because I feel like we're going, we're going fast. Yeah, Fry. Gonna have to keep going. Bone, I don't even know how to pronounce that place. Bonobos. Kendra Scott Vineyard Vines Dr Shake Shack Shake Shack There's Fry uh, Edley E D L E Y Edley's Barbecue Edley's Barbecue Can you go back there? Yeah. He goes up the other little street. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ted's, Ted's, there. it is. Ted's Montana Grill is right there. That's a nice place. Uh, Fabletics, Dra Draper James, Vineyard Vines. I'm probably saying all these things wrong. Kendra Scott, Warby Parker, never heard of them. Cosbar, Scout and Molly's. Amethyst is going to be there. Air it. This is a uh, crew, food and wine. Crittenden, J. McLaughlin, Pottery Barn, uh, Lulu Mon, Lily Rain, Texas, D. Brazil. Yeah, there are apartments back here. Anthropology. I didn't know they had. So, Honeywood. I wonder. Honeywood. 
Yeah, Brooks Brothers. And they're working on this place here, as you can see. It's going to be blue, blue something. I still can't read. It's some kind of grill. Blades but I think that's it. So that's it. That's uh, that's they it. They've got a lot of stores there. They have a lot of stores, and I know I mispronounce a lot of them, um, but most of those places we will never. So you want to turn right, no, don't I'm you? Gonna go. Well, I can go that way. We're going to Kirkland's, right? Yeah, you can go that way. Too. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're on our way to Kirkland's because we haven't been in a while. But most of those places, I don't know how to pronounce the names of because we've never been there, and. A lot of them, a lot of them, we probably won't ever go in because I'm sure they're they're like very they're really expensive. expensive. Yeah, a lot of them. Well, I mean Brooks Brothers. Yeah. Uh, so um, anyway, so here's where we are now. They have an Applebee's. There's a Carnival, half price books. What I wonder is there was an Anthropology out there by um, Lexington Green. Oh, I wonder if they it. moved too when Whole Foods moved. We were going to go to a Fresh Time Farmer's Market, but they're closed. Gone closed. They are literally gone. It says there's a sign on the door that says as of July 7th, they closed. So, uh, we will not be uh, shopping in there anymore. Uh, we've all, we'd only been there one time. Uh, yeah, once or twice. We liked it. Ooh, you know where we ought to go. See, I think of all these places, but you can't go... That's the thing about living in the next town over. I see things that are frozen and cold that I want to buy in these places, and I can't because I'm thinking about Lucky's is where I was gonna say we ought to go to Lucky's Market. I love Lucky's Market. Um, but you see these places, uh, you want to go in these places and buy a bunch of frozen things, and you just can't. Was it that place that we found the Talenti that we had never tried, like the pumpkin and the coconut? Or was it the other no, one? There. So good. I, I had no idea that they went out of business. So I wonder what's going to go in there now. Wasn't that the, an office supply store? Office Max? Office Max or something. And then it became fresh, fresh time. So, who knows what it's going to be now. Uh, but they still have a Tuesday morning back there. They still have a Halloween Express back there. Um, what's the pizza place? I don't Sir know. Pizza? I, don't know. I think there's a Sir Pizza back there, which I haven't had Sir Pizza in forever. Joanne's Fabrics. Joanne's Fabrics. Yeah, Kevin likes them. But now we're going to go. Is the next stop Trader Joe's or Kmart? Okay. We're going to go to Kmart next. And we're going to go in Kmart because Kmart is going to be closing. We don't know when. Do we know Might when? Might be closed now. I don't know. It could be closed now. <laughs> Might be gone. It might be gone. But we read, Kevin read an article that said that Kmart is going to be closing. So I told him I want to go in Kmart one more time because we never come over here. Um, I want There's to a reason the Kmart's closing, though. The Kmart is closing because they're stuck in the 1980s. Yeah. Literally. They never changed. Literally. Literally. That. Yeah, that's the reason they're closing. Um, and I don't know if they're. Well, I don't think they're all closing, but they closed some, and now they're closing more. So eventually, you know, they'll all be gone. Oh shoot! Did somebody just wreck? No, it's a trucker. Oh gosh! I thought somebody just wrecked <laughs> somebody's unloading the truck anyway uh so we're gonna go there and if they're still open i will try to show you around a little bit so in this section there is a getty town which someone was asking me what getty town's like getty town's like showbiz pizza place it has um games and and stuff like that in there for kids to play it's more like a busters than a, a busters showbiz. but and we busters don't Busters the one that has the game dave and busters yeah probably like a dave and busters yeah. so here's kmart and it's pizzas or crackers with cheese and salsa and it's there's a sign out here that says the store is closing and i think there's like 40 percent off yes the store is it's literally uh it is packed uh because i'd say because stuff's 40 percent off I wonder, yeah, I think everything's going to be, everything's on sale, so 
We'll see what we can find. Uh, so you look, so 30%, 20%, it just depends on where you look. I will be muting um, a lot of this because of the music in here. Um, so hopefully you'll still enjoy it anyway. This will tell you a little bit about why they're going out of business because like this this bottle of shampoo is marked $4.79 for that bottle of shampoo that is ridiculously expensive so what they've done I think is they've marked things up so that they can mark them down and then say oh they're 25% off and you think you're getting a good deal and you're not getting a good deal oh Ashley's used this stuff before oh yeah yeah that's ridiculous 799 yeah so that's what they've done they've marked things up so that you think you're getting a good deal no that's not a good deal yeah no you're you're really you're really not getting a good deal this floor is slick right here the floor Ashley and I were in Walmart last night and the floor in Walmart was uh, that slick last night too because uh, I think somebody had spilled something ooh that is neat that's really neat we figured we would look in the toys oh yeah well I remember we saw those when they came out at Walmart we figured we'd look in the toys to see um, if they have anything marked down because you all know we're always looking for Christmas and stocking stuffers. Um, Gavin got a Nerf gun for his birthday and he really likes it a lot. It looks like they've sold. It was like $30 for a brisk gun. Yeah, but risk isn't that really expensive normally. Oh. Oh, uh, I can look real quick. Look, there's a cabbage patch. A hundred and nine dollars, Kevin. A hundred and nine dollars for that doll. Yes. Wonder why it's so expensive. They've marked every one of these up. $109. No, for those. These are 14. These are 20. And you know we've seen these much cheaper. $14, $20, $25. Well, Amulet has risk of 25, so I guess it's not that much. I guess 30 is not that much. I'll be good at 25. Right, so why not get it cheaper? <laughs> oh, good grief. It's like hard plastic. Yeah, it's hard to imagine how you would play with it when it's. I don't know, I've never heard of that before. Oh, Minecraft stuff. Those are big. I still think it's funny that he has his own man. Van Diesel, is that his name? Zelda. 
There's that uh, case. That's cool. I think they stuck just the nether biome. Now that would be a neat set. Yeah, I think I've got all of them, except I don't have oh. the that shoots the fireball, and I don't have that. I don't have that one. I don't have a lot of them. But... So how much would it be on sale? What? Do you want it for your office? <laughs> Those are neat, and you get it's six figures. Them. Yeah. I think that's the same. Some of the same thing. You don't want it. What am I going to do? Sit on a shelf in an office? Andrew used to love men like this. Oh yeah, Gavin would like those. But when he gets a little older. They have shoes galore. Lots of shoes. Lots and lots and lots of shoes. And the shoes are 40% off. So that's, I think, the most we've seen reduced is 40. Yeah. Because, because everything else has only been like 15 and 20. Some of the toys were 30. Some of the, yeah, some of the toys were 30. So now we're going up by the, the clothes. And there, a lot of them are 40. So that was Kmart. <laughs> we, uh, of course, I didn't show you everything, but it was um, truly to goodness. I know I said it while we were in there, unless I had to mute it and you didn't get to hear me say it. They have marked things up because they're hoping that you don't realize that they've marked things up so that you can take a percentage off of it. I Which is still higher than the. I, yeah, I promise around. you, you're not getting it any cheaper. You truly, truly are not. Uh, maybe in the last days when they really mark things down, maybe then you'll be able to get a good deal. But right now, you're not getting a good deal, I don't think. And it's just, I don't know. I, I there's a reason Kmart's closing, like Kevin said. It's just uh, they haven't. They haven't evolved at all. So right now we're going to uh, Trader Joe's and I just plan on uh, getting some bars in here. Normally it's funny because normally I'm only in Trader Joe's like twice a year and it's because we are all the way on the other side of town from where we normally shop. It's like 40 minutes from our house um, and that's with good traffic. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, Trader Joe's. I get the urge for some reason to go in Trader Joe's about twice a year. This is one of those times. When it gets towards fall, like in August, I'll want to go in Trader Joe's and then I'll want to go again in like October when they have the pumpkin, the pumpkin stuff out, like the pumpkin bars and stuff like that. Those are the only two times that I really get the craving to go in Trader Joe's. Although, if they were closer, I would go in more often because they sell some bars that I really, really like. Um, and they're, they're a good price. They're not, you would think that they would be more expensive or something. They're not. They're, they're usually, I don't know, they're usually like $2.50 a box, I think. Um, very, very affordable. So, we're going to get those. And, uh, and then I don't know where we're going to go next. I doubt I'll be able to film in Trader Joe's just because I know in some Trader Joe's I've heard that they can be really funny about filming. So I'll just have to, normally there's so many people in here that you can't, uh, it's hard to move. So um, we'll just have to see how many people are in here too. We just left Trader Joe's and I didn't film in there. I don't know, for some reason, since I know that some other people uh, we're told please don't film in here. I just don't feel comfortable filming in there. So I didn't um, And it's always really busy in there anyway. So but it's funny. They did not have the peanut butter Bars that I wanted they had the the ones they're really really dark. They look like Oreo cookie That's how dark they are But I bought those and I bought three boxes because they didn't have the peanut butter uh and I don't know why they did. They're awesome bars. And they didn't have a spot for them. No, they didn't have a spot for them. And they're Trader Joe's brand. So 
Um, it's not like I can get them somewhere else. But anyway, so I didn't get those. And I did look at their jellies because somebody else said uh, that they had some like amaretto, I think that's what it was, jelly. They didn't have anything like that. They had plain flavors that everybody else had. Strawberry, blueberry, apricot. They did not have anything special at all. So I didn't get any jelly. If they had had the specialty ones, I would have gotten them. Um, so Josh sent us some in the mail. And so I'm looking for that brand. I can't think of the name of it right now. Stonewall Farms, maybe? Um, if I see it, I'll recognize it though. So anyway, we're on the hunt for that. We're going to go to Whole Foods and this is the new Whole Foods that we just passed a while ago and we've never been in here before. So we'll see what it's like. Okay, so we are in Whole Foods and I probably will not film very much in here at all, but I wanted to show you the produce section because it's so pretty. Um, this Oh, you can make orange juice right here on this machine. That's cool. So this is what you see right when you walk in the door. Flannel mouth. Hard cider. <laughs> Never heard of that. This is a jackfruit. It says it's probably the largest tropical fruit in the world. When fully ripe, jackfruit will have a combined taste and aroma of pineapple, mango, and banana. I wonder how much one of those costs. This is $3.99 per pound. $3.99 per pound. So that's going to be a very expensive jackfruit. Yeah. This is the chip aisle in Whole Foods. And I can show you this aisle because no one's in it but us, of course. <laughs> For right now, yeah. So, so I feel like I can show you a little bit. I don't know what it is. But oh, they have all kinds of bark things up there. Figgy pops. We've tried those bananas. Oh yeah, somebody just sent us those. Yeah, somebody just sent us those. Okay, now there are people in the aisle. So, we'll see how much longer I can film. The non... We've tried the skinny sticks. Oh, now we're getting the chips on both sides. There's Jackson's Honest. We tried those from that market, and they were good. These sound good. One potato, two potato. Sweet potato ones. They have a Hawaiian barbecue and a Mexican salsa. Who well, won't you get them? And a Savannah sweet onion. Why don't you get them and try them if you want? Because we've never seen them before. They have Boom Chicka Pop Dill Pickle flavor. Have we ever had those? I don't want to get the salty. This is. So we're leaving Whole Foods. I figured I would show you the outside. That's how it looks. Okay. And I think we're the only ones uh, ever that go to Whole Foods and buy two bags of potato chips because <laughs> literally, that's anytime we shop at Whole Foods, that's all we buy are bags of potato chips. Where because was that? Down that way? it was down that way. Because they have lots of brands in there that we don't see anywhere else. So, we don't know where we're going yet, but if we go anywhere fun, I'll let you know. So, these are all apartments up above here. We just left Fresh Fresh Market, and I found the Stonewall Kitchen. They had um, they had the uh, peach amaretto that I really really liked, so I bought two jars. There was another one that I liked too. Uh, what was it? Mojito. 
There was a mojito that I loved, and they did not have that. That's um, the one that had the peels in it, wasn't it? Maybe. There was one that had peels in it. But I, anyway, so I bought know. two of the Amaretto because they didn't have uh, the other ones, and they're not cheap. They were like over $5 a jar. But I bought those, and we found some other things in there that we had never seen before, so we're glad that we went in there. Um, now we're headed to another new to us store if i can film in there then i might do a video of it all on its own if i can only film a little bit then i'll include it in here uh but i think i won't tell you what it is yet i'll keep you guessing mm -hmm. uh, i'll tell you if i don't end up putting it in here i'll tell you what it was called um but i think it's supposed to be a neat store with a lot of different stuff we've never been in there before they so have them all over the country. yeah they have them all over the country they're well known but we've never been in one and a lot of you would be like oh i've been in one of those but it's just new to us and new to our area so um i'll let you know what it is in just a few minutes we went to the store and i filmed it it will be a separate video because i think it'll be long uh but it's mainly because I filmed so much in the book section. It's called Ollie's Discounts. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want... I, I, so there will be a video coming up of that if it's not up already. Uh, but there... I don't know if it was a manager or not because he did not have any name tag on at all. Um, all of the people that work in there were wearing red shirts. But he was wearing like a, like a camel colored shirt uh and but he didn't have any name tag on at all to identify himself but he came up to me and i was not filming when he came up to me i had my camera off and uh the, i mean the screen was closed i had it turned off completely and he walked up to me in the books and he said um are you finding everything okay and i said yeah and he said are you filming and i said well just i said Maybe I said just a little bit. I think I said just a little bit. Um, but it was a it was a very very weird conversation because he how did he even? He said somebody somebody said something. Why asked why we were filming? Well, uh, somebody came up and asked him why we were filming, which I find that very hard to believe that they came up to the front and asked him why is there a woman filming in the books? I find that very very hard to believe. I just it's possible. It's possible, but if I don't think it was an employee, uh, I don't think it was a customer. I think it was probably an employee. I'd say an employee putting something up saw me filming and wondered maybe why I was filming, uh, but. He said that um, he wanted to know why I was doing it. And I said, because I have some people that can't get out, uh, get out to the store and they like to see the, uh, what you have. Which is true. Which is true. There's no lie about that. And um, he wanted to know if I did it for myself or professionally. And I said, for myself, because I do do this for myself, uh, self-gratification. <laughs> and um, what else did he say? If you show people, you got to get their permission. Yeah, he basically said, if you show people's faces, you have to get their permission. And I said, I'm not going to show anybody's face. He said, because if you get people's faces, he said, we have permission we can confiscate that he said we can confiscate that and delete the video and i said well i'm not going to get anyone's faces and i looked right into his eyes and i told him i'm not going to be getting anyone's faces on camera um so that we were having a really good time and we had over a hundred dollars worth of stuff in the buggy but from the time he said that on we didn't put one other thing in the buggy and for me it had a lot to do with um he turned a really fun time at the store a really fun shopping trip into something that made me like feel bad when i wasn't filming anybody's face i was filming the stuff on the shelves 
and we were just we were having a blast and when you see the video it's ollie's o-l-l-i-e apostrophe s i think it's called when you see the video you'll hear the excitement in my voice that we were just so excited to show you these books and how cheap we were getting them and everything we were buying and that excitement and fun went to okay i don't even want to be in here anymore and to be 100 percent honest with you if i hadn't have been filming for a video for you all i would have left i would have left right after i mean i still would have bought what i bought because everything in my cart was stuff that i really wanted and it was genuinely cheap so i'm not going to let him ruin that for me but I had I not wanted to film the rest of the store for you all I would have gone ahead and checked out because it just makes it it's not fun anymore it, it turns a fun day into something that's just it's just not fun anymore so and then the entire time we were checking out up front he was like standing there like I don't know why he stood there the whole time I don't know if he wanted to say something else or I don't know if he thought I would say something to him but I didn't have anything to say to him um if I go back again with Ashley because I do think I do think Ashley's gonna want to go in there because I think she's gonna see a lot of the thing a lot of things in the video I think that she's going to want so if I go back in there with her, I will just make sure that I, I don't film at all. There will be no reason for me to film. So I do hope you all enjoy the video. It is, um, it, it's unbelievable how cheap uh, things in there are, especially the books. And I wonder how often they get new things because I'll have to check back and see uh, what kind of books they get. Um, but I just won't film. Uh, cause he just, that just kind of ruined it. That's only the second time I've ever had somebody come up to me and say, well, the first time it was in Cracker Barrel and she said, why are you filming? He, he wanted to know, are you filming? Because my camera wasn't on. I mean, he, he could see I was holding it in my hand. There was nothing I was filming. Anyway, how do you feel about it? Um, I'm, I mean, I kind of understand if people, if you're ruining their time, because they're worried about you filming them. If I'm pointing it at somebody's face. But, um, you know, I, I told Tammy, I said, unless you're uh, um, wanted by the law or something, you don't want your face out there, what difference does it make? You know, some random person in a store, um, who cares? But, you know. And people film. I mean, think about the people at Disney. Concerts, Disney. Think about, yeah, when you go to Walt Disney World and you're filming in the park. Everywhere, anywhere. Yeah, you're getting people's faces. You can't, it's not like you can hide. I just don't know what the big deal is. Um, but I'm not, I'm not an extremely private person like that, like I, a lot of people are. Um, I have a friend who is extremely, like, her family is extremely private um and my feeling about that is well you keeping a secret that i think that's weird so to me that's weird so, so some of you all you might think it's weird that i'm so public i think it's weird when people are so private it's like wait what are you trying to hide so anyway we are it is 20 minutes after four we've been gone all day long i did have some other places i wanted to go but honestly we need to get back home so um we're probably gonna head that way i thought about going to meyer before we go home but uh, I don't, we're on the other side of the road, so we probably won't do that. For many years, my dad has owned a beautiful roll top desk and Ashley has always been in love with this desk. And she um, has always said, if you ever wanna get rid of it, I, I would like to have it. If you know, there's ever a point where you come to not like it, I want to uh, take it off your hands. So, my dad, for absolutely n no reason, he, he saw this roll top desk and he bought it for Ashley. And Ashley just happened to be at work and we were here and um, actually Andrew was here. So it ended up being perfect because it was me and Kevin and Andrew and we were actually in the middle of a review. So we had to stop doing this review and... Um, 
because my dad just rang the doorbell and he said I need some help getting something out of the back of the truck and he had this roll top desk for Ashley and we were just we were just stunned and so next what you're gonna see is the clip of her coming home from work she has no idea what she's about to receive so I hope you enjoy it I'm filming. Come in here. I have McDonald's. I know you have McDonald's. It won't take but a minute. I'm taking one second. It's going to be in the video. It's okay. I don't care if it's in the video. That is a ladies roll top. Your papa brought that over for you. He bought that for you. He did. Your papa bought that for you. If it has keys, open the drawer down the down. Hold my McDonald's. Hold my nuggets. Ah! Yeah, there's keys. Oh my god. We put it in here because oh, you're I love it. you're always downstairs to do your homework and you could have privacy. Ah! You could put your laptop there. Yeah. Plug it in the wall over yeah. Here you could even put a little lamp or something. Can play here. No, yeah. I wouldn't let him. Yeah. Um, lock him in there. Yeah. Where did he get this? Don't know. I don't know. These work. I'm we sure they do. It, so. <gasps> it does. <laughs> I can have secrets. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. How do I unlock it? Push it in and turn it. Push it in. Turn it the other way. Turn it the other way. There you go. You'll have to learn. I'm very confused. Oh, I did it. <laughs> you now locked again. Yeah, you'll get quick. <laughs> so it has Where's a little. It has oh. cubbies and uh, open the drawers. It has I did. places oh. for everything. I'm gonna call it. Oh. Why did he bring this by? Why did he get this? This afternoon. Why we were do we were doing reviews and he brought it by. We had no idea he was coming. <laughs> yeah. What? We thought you'd be surprised. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna call it. We have a special box to open, and I say special because I love how it was wrapped. I want you all to see this. I absolutely love how she wrapped it. This is from Crystal in Taylorsville, Kentucky. This is Jean's daughter, and there are pictures all around the box. Um, I should show it, shouldn't I? Can we hold it up and turn it? Let me try to hold, hold it up and turn it. So she took like a book and she took pages from the book and she wrapped the package in it. And it's just awesome. And I mean, it has pages at the bottom. I was actually reading it um, and it sounds like it would have been an interesting book. And I don't know where the actual splits are, so I'm just gonna so have to- So he has to do that. Thank you, Crystal, for- for, I mean, just even the packaging. I don't even know what they have sent me at all. Uh, like I said, they are in Kentucky. And, um... It's thick paper. Jean's the one that, uh, oh, well, Crystal. Crystal's the one that made us those caps. The oh, pug yeah. cap and the yeah. Pokemon cap. And they made me a, um, a blonde, a, what do you call that? Blindfold. Blonde, blindfold. Is that what you call a mask? A sleep mask. Sleep mask. It's blindfold. What we use it for a while. Try not to cut the thing. So they are very, uh, they are very craftsy people. That's for sure. I don't uh, uh, do any crafts at all. Yeah, that is from a book, and I mean, is the notes. the name of it must be God Save the Queen. I mean, that's or that's the looks like it's the front page. So I guess. You all maybe buy books at yard sales or something and then use it for wrapping paper? I mean, idea. yeah. For a book that you don't want? Okay. I do think that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I got most of those in bag. That is just awesome. I will get in this box in a while. I think everyone that watches knows that I have an affection for the United Kingdom. I secretly 
want to be. Yeah. Or I would have it that age if she, when she was that age. I just want her money. Nowadays, I want to be Catherine. Yeah, and her money. Yeah, but, well, I just. Uh, Tammy and Kevin, a while back you reviewed some Loft House cookies and I thought you might like these. I also threw in some limited edition peanuts for you to try. Also, here's some cute paper dolls I mm -hmm. thought you might like. Oh, neat! Love Jean, Crystal, and Lacey. Yes! Look at the paper dolls. Make your own sprout stand. Cut out and enjoy. So, here. It's the little uh, raccoon. It must be the raccoon. I think yeah. it's a raccoon. Yeah. And then here are the, the pieces. I used to love paper dolls. Mm -hmm. Used to absolutely love them. And uh, my mom had paper dolls when she was little, so she bought me paper dolls. And you would get the, the uh, catalogs from stores like Sears and they would come out and they would have pictures of these great big uh, canopy beds and you would look at these pictures and the whole bedroom would look like blue with the blue over the canopy bed and the blue like good comforter and uh well they were ads though yeah for I know, those but, canopy but, beds. Set up but like yeah but then they would have like uh they would have rooms like a living room sets and so i would cut out the picture from the magazine and put it on like a, a box and then you i would set it up like a room like a room you know kids i don't even know if kids nowadays would even understand it was awesome i loved it it was just another that's so room. that's so low tech nowadays that it's like kids nowadays would be like really you had to use your imagination of paper. it was but it was so cool of course that oh. was back when dinosaurs were around so it was dinosaur living rooms and dinosaur size you know and everybody these, was in i've never seen these Loft House cookies, no bake peanut butter. And peanut butter foot. And peanut butter. Mm. We call these poop cookies. I, I was going to say, I wonder if these taste the same as those. They oh, look similar. Yeah. They look similar. They look a little. A little and these are not cheap either. $3.59. I'm thrilled that you got these. Okay, I had no hope of getting these. I saw a picture of these and I thought, well, I'll never be able to try those because we'll never find any, we'll never find those. I cannot believe you sent me these. These are Lance, they're limited edition salted caramel peanuts and these are Lance limited edition, extra, uh, spicy. extra spicy with Tabasco brand. Thank you so, I'm just thrilled. Mm -hmm. I love all, all of the, yes. The no bake cookies are like my favorite, I love them. We love no bake cookies, love no bake cookies. I cannot wait to try these. So thank you very much, I'm just thrilled. Um, and you know, the review, uh, I might get the review out on these quicker because they're limited edition. Um, but for the cookies, you might not see the review for another month. I, literally am looking at how many videos i need to, to schedule and yeah i mean i'm into september well <laughs> and just yeah it'll uh, come just, it'll come just yeah just be patient i just you all are all so kind to send me things and then if you saw our haul from last week it was like an extra large haul and Chips. so yeah so yeah so we have all that stuff that that we're reviewing too so it just ends up being a lot of videos plus i have special videos that i like to put out for you all of like when we walked around michael's and mm -hmm. we walked around uh, Kirkland's, you know, those are extra videos that I throw in there that I know that you all will love. So it's just a lot of videos, but thank you so much. I'm just thrilled. I love the paper, Crystal. I appreciate it very, very much. We're going to take Guido to the vet today because I think he has an ear infection and Kevin said he needs his nails trimmed, uh, but he, uh, I'm probably squeezed. Oh Lord, squeezed. Expressed. Yeah, these, these seats are a little slippery. <laughs> Another week, 
It's funny enough, I took the money real quick though, didn't I? He wants his mama. He said, Mama's in the back seat. I want mama. I want my mama. Yeah, yeah, they'll be glad to see him coming, won't they? Yes, he's a pretty boy. <laughs> this is the office. And Guido will have to get up on the table to get his nails trimmed. And they'll look at his ears. These are all the pamphlets they have. They have more back here. Yes. The aftermath. Ears. Nails. What was that? Oh, that was for ears. Oh, that was for nails. And that was for ears. Okay. And then this is to stop the bleeding. Yeah. Messy, messy. I think that's a break thins it out some. Yeah. Um, to clean his ears. Yeah. So we left the vet and we're still out here because we want Guido to try to use the bathroom maybe before he um, smells the water. We want him to go tinkle. They uh, they said he has a, a fungus. Yeah. So we're supposed to give him this um, once a day for like a week and they said that would help. But um, for his nails to be trimmed, it was 15. To get his anal gl glands expressed, it was 20. And then for the medicine, it was 32. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So Guido gets to sit in the front. Kevin lets him in. And then he hops over here on my seat. Yeah, and guess where I get to be? Back here. I am filming, I am filming this on my iPhone because I'm on the um, exercise bike, as you can tell. Um, I'm out here watching TV. I have a pause right now. Um, but I wanted to tell you all, every time I get on this bike, I think, I'm going to tell them how much I really like this bike. Um, my um, elliptical parts have not shipped yet. So every day I'm still coming out here using the bike and I just started. I just, I'm trying to get my steps. I've done like my initial workout for the morning, but it, uh, it takes a lot to get 10,000 steps a day, unless you're one of these people who just walk around all the time. I, uh, with what I do with YouTube, am sitting here making, sitting at the computer making videos all day. So I'm sorry I didn't turn this towards me. <laughs> um, I guess you want to see my face when I'm talking a little bit. But I wanted to, every time I get on the bike, I think I want to tell them how much I like the bike because it's quiet. I mean, like, you don't hear anything. It is so quiet. And I know that one of these machines never occurred to me when I was thinking about doing exercise. Um, I wonder if I can set you up here on, no, can't do that. This is, this is probably a bad angle, but okay. Yeah, I'm pedaling. <laughs> um, but, um, I know one of these machines never occurred to me when I was looking for something to use for exercise. You know, when when people think of things, I don't know why, but you just jump to the treadmill or the elliptical or something else. I don't, you know, very, very few people say, oh, I want to buy a stationary bike. I just don't hear that very often. That might be the case, but I just don't hear it. So... Um, when Ashley wanted to get one of these, I thought, hmm, wonder if it'll ever get used. Well, turned out it was a huge blessing to have this when my elliptical broke down because this is the only mode I've had for exercise other than walking. So, I have, I come out here in the morning and I've talked about this last week, I think, in the vlog. I come out here in the morning and I do 
uh, 60 minutes. I set it for 60 minutes. I usually watch Matt, an episode of Mad Men, and I can watch like one YouTube video. And then I come out here, that's like 15 miles. And then I come out here again about mid-morning, and I'll go for half an hour, and I'll get seven more miles. And then like right now, I'm out here and it's mid-afternoon and I'll get seven more miles. And believe it or not, I still won't have my 10,000 steps. Even after, even after uh, cycling for 30 miles, I still will not have 10,000 steps. And I have my Fitbit on my arm. And so what I do, something like this. And you see, I'm in jeans. I know, lovely view, right? I'm in jeans. Uh, but I don't really, I don't really work up much of a, a sweat. I mean, I do occasionally sweat a little bit if it's, I mean, just a little bit though, not enough to do anything, not enough to have to shower or change clothes or anything like that. But anyway, I'm rambling on and on and I'm not meaning to. The whole purpose of me turning on the camera was just to tell you all that a lot of you all have said you live in an apartment or you have children, so you don't want anything noisy. This is something you could get that's not noisy at all. It doesn't bounce. I'm gonna pitch up like this. Um, it, there's no bouncing. So there, if you're on like a second floor, like Kevin wouldn't mind us having this upstairs at all in this old house. And he told me there's no way he would want like a treadmill up there because those do when you're walking there, boom, 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 constantly. Um, but this, there's no bounce at all to it. It's straight sailing, smooth sailing. It's very, very quiet. The only thing you get is a beep when you go from every two minutes on this program or every four minutes on the one I do in the morning, depending on how long you set it, you get a little bitty beep. But it would be perfect for those of you who live in an apartment. So I just wanted to, to say that. I'm getting out of breath because I'm, I'm, well, I'm on a harder level now too. So I'm like, <sighs> lovely. Um, <laughs> I'll have to decide whether I even want to keep this in the vlog this week because um, of how horrible I look. But I mean, I guess this is, this is real life. I guess this is what you, what you want to see. I know when I'm watching somebody's vlog, I know when I'm watching Melissa and she has a piece of toilet paper stuck up her nose, I'm not going to judge her because she has a piece of toilet paper stuck up her nose. So hopefully you all don't judge me if uh, there are parts of me that uh, are less than attractive. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> so anyway, I, I just... I want to tell you a little bit more about the bike because I know I hadn't talked, I hadn't talked about it while I'm out here. I, you know, you think of things while you're doing them and then you go and you do something else and you forget about it. One more thing that I forgot to tell you about this particular bike, I don't know about other bikes, but this particular bike, uh, I had forgotten Ashley told me this, when you get off of it, unlike other equipment, like, like my elliptical, if I have to, let's say the doorbell rings and I have to run and get the door and I'm in the middle of a program on the elliptical, it will keep counting down the time while I'm gone. And so when I come back, th that time will just be gone and I'll have missed that section of my workout. This bike, I had to jump off of it for a second. This bike pauses immediately. You, you stop pedaling and it pauses. You don't have to push any buttons at all when you get back on and you start pedaling again. There we go, time starts up again. So I just, I think that's a nice feature. Uh, I think that's really cool. So I wanted to remember to tell you all that too, just in case you're interested in this bike. It's, um, we put it together in a video. It just, it is a Schwinn and I don't remember anything else about it. So, it, but it was half the price of the elliptical, just know that. The elliptical was like 800 and something dollars. This was like 400 and something dollars. So, you know, I guess it just depends on what kind of a workout you want. 
but I'm just throwing that out there that um, I liked it. I like it too. That uh, that thing about the time that it'll pause. So we're gonna wrap up the week like we have been wrapping up the weeks since Big Brother has been coming on. We're gonna talk. We won't talk very long, but we want to talk a little bit about Big Brother UK and then the Big Brother in the United States. When we left off last week, Trisha was still in the house in the Big Brother UK. And we were talking about how we thought it was awful that she was just laying in the bed all day long because she said that she wanted to get sent home. And um, I just think that's a shame because if I were there, I wouldn't do that. You know, anybody else would be thrilled to be there and she just wanted to come home. Well, right after that, uh, Karthik got evict him. Mm -hmm. So, Karthik got sent home, which I felt bad because honestly, I, I like Karthik. Um, but then, Trisha ended up... She left like that night. She the next left. Day. I mean, she didn't get evicted. She just left the house. Yeah. And Saying they were all fake and all that stuff. Well, it is a game. So, it's a shame though that Karthik went home. That Who wanted to be there. Who wanted... Yeah, he would have wanted to stay in the house if she had just told him before that. Maybe they wouldn't have had an eviction. Although their TV works different, they usually they will, just go will and evict it. anyway. See over here, they would have probably said everybody safe because Trisha left. Yeah. They don't always do that, but they have done. They that. have done that in the past. In the UK, they probably would have sent Karthik home anyway. Yeah, yeah. But I, I did feel bad for him. But um, Kevin and I did watch a couple of Trisha's videos um, after complaining. after she left the house. Uh, we looked up on her YouTube channel, and she was eating uh, Nando's, and I can hardly watch her eat because she smacks a lot. She no, I don't. I I don't do smacking mouth open. I, I can't. Um, I just want if I find out you eat that way, I just won't eat with you, or I will make sure you're at that end of the table, <laughs> and I'm at the this way. end of the table. Um, she, um, I don't agree with what she was saying anyway. She was going off about all this stuff and got all of her little minions to go out and uh, mean tweet everybody and all this stuff. And I just don't, I just don't think it's right. You know, regardless of what was said in the house, it's it's a house, it's a game. People are going to act different in that house than they would normally. So why why do that? I don't. Know. I just don't understand it. So no, no. Whatever. So so she went. She left and then they had a double eviction. Well, Jordan. Oh, then Jordan went home. Jordan went home. Yep. Um, and then the last thing we watched um, was a double eviction. Was a double eviction, and Brandy went home, which really surprised me, honestly. But I guess she doesn't have the fan base there. Mm -hmm. But she she showed a little bit of how she can be a troublemaker. Now you all didn't see the what I've seen in the Real Housewives. Anytime she drinks, she's like that. I mean, she's just. She's horrible when she, she drinks. Um, and then Paul, Paul went home. Yeah. You know. He, I guessed him, but. The first, if you went back to when I first started talking about Big Brother UK, I really liked Paul. I thought Paul was a good person, but I didn't know Paul then. You know, I was just guessing it from the mm -hmm. first night. Paul at the end, I didn't like Paul. I didn't end up liking Paul as a person. Um, the way that he was in the house, yeah. he just meddled. He meddled, and he, he was trying to, he was trying to like push people into relationships. And I didn't like that. I don't like people doing stuff. Like and I that. like Gemma at first, and, and she's still okay. But I think she's a, she stirs the pot quite a bit too. Uh, I like Sam, the tattoo girl. Oh yeah, she's just she's kind of got a. Uh, mean side to her yeah. too. Amelia's very quiet. Derek's very quiet. I still like Sam a lot and I, I like, like Sandy. Sandy. I like Sandy. I like Sandy a lot. I don't mind Sarah. I know a lot of people don't like her and they, they say she wants to get out. She she did kind of cheat on her boyfriend so I can see that part being negative. And even though it was four weeks she still cheated yeah, on her boyfriend. Cheating boyfriend. is cheating yeah. so um, Sean Sean, there's so nothing quiet. wrong with yeah. Sean. He's just a quiet Helen's person. Helen's the same way. Um, it would be like Kevin going into the house, Sean, because Kevin is that quiet, and he just, you hardly would know he was there. Um, good person, but he just for this kind of uh, show, it's just the quiet people sometimes get lost. And Chad, he's been uh, Sarah's puppy dog. 
I don't, I still don't like Chad. I don't like Chad at all. I haven't liked Chad. Chad, Chad could go anytime and I would be fine with Chad. So they're having another double elimination. This Tuesday. Week. Yeah. Tuesday. I can't They're moving pretty fast. Of course, they're only in the house like four weeks, I think. So, yeah. So they move pretty fast. Yes, they do. Um, and so, okay. So Big Brother, uh, U.S., um, the last thing we talked about last week, I'm pretty sure Jessica had been evicted at that point. And, and Josh had gotten a head of household, I think. Josh, yes. Which, I still don't like Josh. No, it wasn't Josh, it was Alex. I'm sorry. Josh put up Jessica. Oh, yeah, Alex. Alex. Head yeah, but I still don't like Josh. <laughs> no, he's annoying. He's uh, annoying and... Um, uh, so this week they had a double elimination, yeah. and which I like those episodes because they go really fast. Had a, the whole week in a day. Yeah, I really, really like those episodes. I wish they were all kind of that at that speed. I know. Um, so Alex put up Cody and some. I mean, put up somebody anyway. Cody got voted out. Cody got evicted. And then, right after Cody got evicted, Alina got evicted. They did all the stuff, and then Alina got evicted. Right, Alina got evicted, which, that that it was fine. Right. I mean, it didn't bother me at all. And then, um, so who's that? We're waiting on head house all right now. Oh, we don't know. No, they did this That's stupid right. thing. That's right. They said there were going to be a special episode Friday, which they did. They did a special episode. Um, you're thinking they're going to put something in there that had a household because I couldn't do it the day before. You know, that kind of stuff. No, it was one of these look back episodes. They're only halfway through the show. There's not that much to look back at anyway. And first, and first of all, second of all, almost everything they showed was stuff we'd already seen. It had old, old people from the very beginning. You know what I mean though? I mean, yeah. if you're going to do a look back, show me scenes that I haven't seen before. Right. You know, like Unshown a conversation footage. or argument this person had or whatever. Show me that kind. I don't want to see stuff I've already seen. I've watched the whole season. I don't need to see the same stuff again. So it was a complete waste of, of an episode. I think they showed a little bit of, at the beginning, of Cody and them interacting before elimination for the voting. Um, and then they, at the very end, he said, I'm your host for your, the head of household competition. They showed the head of household, and that was it. They didn't do anything else. So it was annoying to me. I don't like those episodes like that. It was kind of like, it reminded us of, of Survivor. Yeah, and the Survivor at the end of the season where they would always do a look back at each person that had, had gone previously. Yeah, they like walked down the beach or through the woods or And whatever. they quit doing that. They would stop at their, their torch. Mm -hmm. and, and then carry them and then like burn them all up at the end or something. It was, uh, we hated those episodes yeah. because you didn't gain anything from it at mm -hmm. all. Um, I like... Um, Real in the Real Housewives, they always, uh, you know, you watch the Real Housewives, and then they have the reunion of the Real Housewives. But then they always show like one special episode of unseen footage. Well, if Big Brother had wanted to do a special episode, like at the very end of the show, of unseen footage, that would be cool. Yeah. Things you didn't see, funny moments, or things right. that, you know, something, something different. That, that was just a waste of our hour. Yeah, it really was. It, it I was, think I was on my phone most of the time and Tammy was on the I was laptop. answering comments, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was sitting out there with the laptop answering comments. So we could have spent the hour watching something else. We, we could have, yeah, definitely. Because we, there are so many shows that we like. Um, uh, so many shows that we ha that we have like on Netflix that you all have recommended um, and by the way I am, am still just crazy about Mad Men and I will watch the entire series again once Kevin gets ready I will watch the entire se series again with Kevin because I think he will love it too I probably would we've just got so much we do we have a lot of shows uh, what are, are we working our way through a Netflix show right now Mm, and Netflix is I'm watching Mad Men, Mad yeah, Men we, on Netflix. We just have weekly shows we're working through right now. But there's one called uh, uh, Ozarks. The, it's on Netflix that's been recommended to me yeah. by Mona. And there's one called Glam or Gleam or something on Netflix. I would remember it if I saw it that somebody else recommended. Um, so we have a ton of shows to watch. Uh, so it's just with Big Brother on, it's hard to fit them all in. But I'm just so excited because fall's coming up and um, our fall shows will be starting up. And I, I can't wait for the fall shows. We won't have any more time either. No. <laughs> we usually but, just veg out on like a Saturday or a Sunday 
um, and watch TV. And but I look forward to them. You know, we I, done that a lot I this look year. forward to uh, the Elementary Big and the Big Bang Theory, and you know this the new one, shows. Young Sheldon. That'll be that looks like it. You know, funny. though, I mentioned that a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't realize it doesn't start till November. Yeah, it's long. It's always off. I mean, that's all. You would think they used to start. <clears throat> Early, that's late to be started. Yeah, that means half a season. I was going to say that, works. that means there's not going to be very many episodes. Yeah. Now, back in the in the eighties, man, when they, they got you got twenty three solid episodes every single year. Yeah, um, you don't get that many at you all. Just, you just don't see. And then that. in the UK, the big shows you get even fewer. Um, but the production value of those is pretty high. Though. Oh, it's so good because they're like little they're an hour and a half long movies. Like Sherlock is an hour and a half. Doctor Who, those are those are like movies. It's a lives. solid hour. Doctor Who is a solid hour There's of stuff, going, stuff on. going on. And if you've never watched Sherlock, it's an hour and a half. Usually there's only like three per season, but it's 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 like a, a movie. Yeah, it's literally like you could go to the movie theater. And it's brilliant. People would pay money to see those in the movie. Yes, theater. it is absolutely. Benedict Cumberbatch is absolutely really brilliant. And that other guy that played in The Hobbit, yeah, I don't know his name. His name. But he, they're just fabulous. Yeah, they're really good. And then the woman that's the housekeeper, yeah, she's I funny. like her. Some of them get a little convoluted and weird, but, but. Sometimes he's talking so fast. I think we could watch them right now and get something More different because he talks so fast. Yeah, sometimes. That it's like, I don't know how he learns all these lines. I really don't. He must be a brilliant person anyway to be able to learn those lines. And they're supposed, the deal is, you know, he's really smart. He's he's thinking 10 times faster than everybody he's else. He's brilliant, yes. So, and uh, we've known people like that. Their minds are, are working much faster than what their mouth can, mm -hmm. to, can speak it. So they're way ahead of you. That's how Sherlock is. So, so anyway, I hope you all uh, enjoyed uh, the vlog this week. I hope you have a good week to come, and thanks for watching.